Uh, there's a question that's coming out from ESPN. Who will make the biggest impact from majority of the free agents that are newly signed? So we have Chris Paul going to Houston, Paul George going to Oklahoma City Thunder, Brandon Hayward to Boston Celtics, and Paul Millsap to Denver Nuggets, Rajon Rondo for Pelican, the Pelicans, and finally Jimmy Butler for the Minnesota Timberwolves. But there probably is more, but who do you guys think is going to make the biggest impact for their new team? I'll go with what I know because I know Mark will go on because he's very more knowledgeable about this. But from the players that I feel that will make an impact, to my knowledge, I think Chris Paul will make an impact because he'll lessen the he'll lessen the harden the hard. I was trying to make a joke there. Burden lessen the burden, but harden whatever on oh, yeah. harden. Okay. Burden on harden because <laughs> um, he's like a deadly mid range shooter. Like before, they were just uh, either they score or shoot threes. So I think that Chris Paul, a great decision maker, will be able to space out the floor and be able to find people more effectively. Mm -hmm. It's pretty, again, we had that debate about Harden had a, such a great year playing the point guard, but I feel like Chris Paul would make much, would Im impact that team and the way they play and just give more, you know, attacking points. Um, so Chris Paul is my, my other one. And then obviously uh, Gordon Hayward, Mr. Pretty Boy, because Isaiah Thomas was the main scorer. So I feel like Gordon Hayward just smooth. I love his game. Mm -hmm. And I feel like he'd also be another presence and another and Boston's so close to not. I don't know if they're close to winning a, a championship, but they are up there um, to be the a top tier, top tier Eastern right? teams. Exactly. So yeah. just with Gordon Hayward and having another player like um, of that caliber, I think it'll also uh, be a compliment to Isaiah Thomas. So those are the two players I I feel that it will make an impact. What do you What do you think, Mark? Well, like in any situation like this, I think you would have to take the best player to make a best impact in a sense. So like, I do agree with Chris Paul. But I'm gonna go with uh, with a couple players, wing players that are two-way players right now. So and they're at their prime. So I'd rather take those kind of players. So I'm gonna go with Paul George and mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with Jimmy Butler. Paul George, in a sense, it's the same situation with with Chris Paul, right? Westbrook had to do everything for that team, mm -hmm. right? Set up everybody and score. And and I think that you know, um, I think at this point Westbrook has proved everybody, and I think he's proved to himself what kind of you know how how much really can he do with so little and I think he's at this point where you know I've learned my lesson with Durant I've gotten everything I could ever do like averaging a triple double and now I feel like you know he's at this point where a little bit mature comes in and hey I'm gonna let this guy you know this guy could could easily be as good as Durant like not maybe like you know full on Durant maybe close to 80% Durant that's how good Paul George is and I think that you know Westbrook is gonna allow him to shine and gonna allow him to play his game so I'm gonna take uh, Paul George in this situation because they need a scorer and they yeah. need a star. Like, mm -hmm. and, and for someone to actually stop Kevin Durant if they were to face off in the, the play plays. playoffs, right? He's so, a perfect matchup. Exactly. So at least Russell Westbrook has someone to you know play with, and he doesn't have to guard KD because I mean you saw them in the playoffs. They it's hard. It was more or not even like, the playoffs, but like during was, the regular season. Andre Robertson was the big liability because he was a great defender. But he could not score, and yeah. and he can't hit free throws. Now you're gonna have a two-way player like Paul George come in, who can defend multiple positions and can do a lot of things that Robertson is not even capable of doing, mm -hmm. right? And that comes into also uh, Jimmy Butler coming in from the Minnesota Timberwolves. He's a two-way player, and he's gonna basically put on the kind of um, defensive uh, mentality and culture that Tom uh, Thibodeau really you know shined in when he was playing uh, he was coaching Chicago with Derrick Rose and Jimmy Butler so not only do they have the coach but they're gonna have the player that you know that that have that defensive mentality and gonna put that culture into Wiggins into Towns mm -hmm. so he's gonna make the biggest impact in terms of leadership role mm -hmm. he's gonna be the mentor for these young players that they have right now in terms of you know playing the right way and putting them you know top defensively because if you have a coach like Tom Thibodeau, you should be in top 10, at top 5 at least defensive. And they weren't just because they didn't have the kind of leader that you know, they needed. And I think Jimmy Butler is going to be that for them. Mm. And did, I, I've been talking to my, my friends. They were saying how, would you, do you think the addition of, for example, Chris Paul to Houston Rockets, Paul George to Oklahoma City Thunder, would that hurt Russell Westbrook or James Harden's like, value as being an MVP for the upcoming season? It's, I think it's going to help them with their efficiency. Uh, but I think they're at this point, like, hey, they're, you know, and it does, being, winning an MVP doesn't matter as much as winning 
Like they, I Finals think MVP. I think both of them have realized that <laughs> for, because, for a ring, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, both of them. I think at this point have realized that you know I hope they do because they had an amazing season last year. But how far did they get? Not even like you know, uh, Harden had a really disappointing last game. I think oh, yeah. no matter how far they've gone, I think that's what's going to be remembered from him. And I don't think he wants to be remembered at that at you know to be that kind of person to just you know the moment he fell out and you know played horribly. That was what he was remembered, even though he had an amazing season. And same thing with Russell Westbrook. He had a triple double, <coughs> averaging 30 points a game, and he exited the first round. Like, mm-hmm. even though he won MVP, like it, I don't. They're at this point where it's winning will matter more, and I think they're gonna sacrifice their, you know, kind of share the ball, but for efficiency and for winning. I think that's what matters the most for most of these players now. It's all about the ring, man. All about the ring. It's all about the ring. Yeah, I can so. I can see that because they they want to get the ring. That's why yeah. that's why obviously Chris Paul went to Houston. That's why Paul George went to Oklahoma City Thunder. So they saw their star players saw how they they dropped in the early rounds of playoffs and see that maybe if I join, maybe we could bring a ring together. Yeah. And that's how the NBA is now. You got to join, at least have a duo, and then sure. try to get a win a ring. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what exciting things will be in the NBA season. So I'm pretty excited, though. You know who doesn't want a ring right now? Who? Kyrie. <laughs> don't, don't, don't talk. He already has one. He already has. Oh, one. you mean another one? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>